Oh man, it's been a month since my first vaccine doses. Dos? In Spanish, it's dosis. We're in line here to get my second and hopefully get Emily her first. She got an appointment through the online system uh, for her first dose. Oh yeah, I'm really excited to get vaccinated. Emily is gonna fly home now we've decided. She's gonna go visit. But instead of waiting to get the Johnson & Johnson there, it just seems like the Pfizer is much stronger. So we're gonna try to get her the first dose here. That way she'll be more protected on the airplane. She won't have a potential reaction sickness while she's visiting family. Yeah, I've decided that I'm gonna go home for a, a couple days to visit my family. I haven't seen them, well, I haven't been back to Philadelphia in a year. So I'm really excited to be able to see my friends and my family. Now in Panama City, um, my age group is allowed to get the vaccine. Instead of waiting until I went home to, to get it, I decided that I was gonna just get it in Panama. I don't wanna get them sick and I don't wanna get myself sick and not be able to return to Panama. So I am gonna get the Pfizer vaccine here. And we talked to our Panamanian friend about it and I said like, I just feel bad. I don't wanna be taking the vaccine from someone else. And he just told me it's in his benefit and his family's benefit if I go and get the vaccine. So with that, I just decided he's right. I should just go and get it. It's to help the people of Panama, not just myself. Dang, the guys said they're out of AstraZeneca right now, which is not even the good one. <laughs> Oh, well, hopefully Emily can get hers. Pero podría darme el Pfizer la segunda dosis o? Aquí en Panamá todavía no está legalizado. Oh, okay. Así que aquí a la izquierda. Gracias. Okay. So it's awesome that Emily can get the Pfizer even though they're out of AstraZeneca. The reason they can't give me second dose of Pfizer is that it's, it's not legal yet here in Panama to get one of one and one of the other. Although I've heard it can be almost as effective as the Pfizer. Oh well. Well, since I can't get my vaccine, I decided to go home. <laughs> so now they gave Emily a yellow card. So we get to advance to the next round where she gets a shot. So it's mostly drive-through, but we just got these uh, things to not roll down the window. It's a lovely country full of lovely people. Oh great. Next stand. We wait 15 minutes over here. Whoa, baby! Oh it hurts! <laughs> oh, you did it, love! Yeah, I did it. Woo! So okay. you said 15 minutes over here? Yeah. Man, these people are efficient! So yeah, I have my card from Panama and now we're gonna wait 15 minutes to see if I have any reactions. I'm so glad to be vaccinated. It feels good. My mom's gonna be excited. <laughs> Thank you. Awesome. Got vaccinated. Waited our 15 minutes and now it's time to head out. So today we're heading out of the city and back into nature. This place is suggested by our friends, Vibes of Panama. It's called Choros de Ola, a huge waterfall where we can swim, camp, and spend the day. Look how pretty it is up here. You can see the waterfall. Man, I wanted to make it up there. Okay. This is my good boy. Five star accommodations this morning. It's kind of crazy that I tried to go up that part, but it would have just got us a much better view right there. <laughs> oh well, we can walk from here, check out this epic waterfall we've seen in the distance. Good morning. We're gonna head up to this balanario, which is the uh, swimming hole we're gonna head over to the swimming hole this morning so we already could see the waterfall it's kind of far looks really nice I'm not sure how far this walk is but we're excited we need to get some exercise and unfortunately 
um, we couldn't leave the van with some people because on our way in there were some people that had signs out front that said like two dollars to leave the van to leave your car or watch your car but all of those people were out and about today I guess <laughs> because there's no one that answered the doors or so we're gonna leave the van where the other family parked which is just right on this road where we and, slept. yeah where we slept last night we're excited to make our way down to the waterfall go for a swim pretty warm so she's wearing her backpack today oh there's the upper waterfall so in somebody's backpack she's got her leash and sunscreen not a full bottle of sunscreen like a basically empty bottle of sunscreen so it's really not that much still we're gonna build up one day you'll be carrying your own water and food Well, we're up here with no guide again, but this looks like a nice step. And here's some signs. And this looks like one of those kind of gates that are exciting. So we took it. Check out the bottom. So it looks like here we're gonna get to figure out the way up. See? Danny's gonna do a little bit of scouting for us right here. See if it's deep enough to jump in. Oh, no, it doesn't look that deep. That's not deep. Yeah. I don't think that's deep enough to jump in. We might hurt ourselves, so. But it's a good thing we don't just jump. We usually check to see if it's deep. Still a beautiful waterfall. I'm so glad we got to come over here with a recommendation from our friends Alejandro and Ana from Vibes of Panama. If you're ever in Panama, definitely hit them up. They've got amazing suggestions. They're super duper nice and they're very, very welcoming to travelers. They want to hear all the stories and it's just a really fun time with Alejandro and Ana. So Danny says it's deep enough right in the middle. Such clear water. Somebody there, are you gonna go swim with Danny? Dang, look how far Emily made it up here. Pizza! You made it up here, baby! Sombrito would follow Emily anywhere. <laughs> we made it! What do you think about that climb? 
That was fun. I felt like I was actually like climbing, you know? <laughs> yeah. Some, if I brought my climbing shoes, we could have a good, really good day over here. <laughs> yeah, the path up was a little treacherous. Definitely some rock climbing up through here. I have no idea how the dog got here. Yeah, the dog. We had her tied up, but. How did, did you take her off? Yeah. Oh. Well this time Sombrita's leading the way down. Found a pretty good route, honestly. But climbing the rock was more fun. <laughs> So this part's not slick, but the rock is just really smooth. So when I was wearing my shoes, they just really <laughs> slid off of the rock. So right here on my way up is where I had to take off my shoes and I just left them here because there's no one around and we're the only ones besides another family that is climbing around these rocks. But it looks like Danny found a way down pretty easy and I'm just gonna pick up my shoes and head down too. Wow, what an awesome time we had here at this waterfall. Thanks so much to Anna and Alejandro of Vibes of Panama for telling us about this place. It's so amazing. I guess we were a little bit early risers than someone because we got here before the guy at the gate. Uh, yeah, we're not sure if he's always there, but he asked for a dollar each. Yeah, we only got a 20. He said, oh well. And I said, hey, you want some peanuts? We gave him some peanuts. <laughs> But yeah, that's how you got to shower when you live in a van. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sweet. The van looks good. We're a little bit worried about that sort of thing lately after getting the window broken. At least there's a little more security with that 3M security film on the inside. If someone tried to break it, it'd be pretty hard. But, whoa, looks like it worked. I can barely even walk on this part. That's why the van got stuck. <laughs> We're gonna head now to the next area, which is La Jeguada. So I need to ask the locals for some road advice because it looks like the road ends before there, even though it's like the shortest route or we take a little loop around. No big deal if that's the deal. Well, coming back to the van, we're always curious where Grammy's hanging out. Why? You been hanging out on the stove there, huh? In a nice cool glass? Yeah, come on. Yeah. Oh, I guess she just wanted to get the passengers out before she did it. Oh. Oh, yeah, she's got it. Dang, that thing is like super easy. Yeah, that was easy. Four-wheel drive, you can go slow. Two-wheel drive, we have to get speed and risk our tires. Well, the road here to La Jaguada is looking not bad at all. I mean, you come up to sections like this that have crazy potholes, but you just take your time at these sections, figure out the best solution. Nope. There's not great information about what it's like to drive up here. So this is the road from San Francisco, from the west side. Um, we'll see how it gets. Well, the road hasn't really changed, but it's just hard to see the potholes now. <laughs> Bridge becomes a, a river. Wow. Oh my gosh. Flooded. Man, I wonder how high the lake is. Yeah, it's pretty. Oh, 
one, there are two streams coming out of their house where their driveway usually is. <laughs> and this one, too. Oh! Must be wet. I think this is it. What? This is too wet. It's hard to tell. So it looks like this place will be fine in the rain. It's not too flooded on this side. Let's see. So we found our spot for the night. This is a free camp spot. At least I Overlander says so. 69 degrees Fahrenheit. We haven't felt these temps since. Ooh, I mean, up in the Cerro Azul was pretty good, but I think yeah. this is even better. This is way better. I'm stoked. Wow, well the park ranger just came over holding that coat over his head and he said because of the pandemic this free campground not open and the center is open from 8 a.m. to 4 a.m. to come check out and we gotta go by 5 p.m. so we'll have to find another spot maybe. It's okay, I'm just not sure where we're gonna stay. Yeah, this is pretty pretty common thing we deal with during these during times. the pandemic. So. Oh well. We just found a spot <laughs> just driving around in this little neighborhood I guess. <laughs> Probably a quarry or something but it seems like a cool view up here. It's yeah. off the road. Hidden. Well we got the van chef on duty here and in the continuing saga of our difficulties finding a spot for the night now a police four-wheeler <laughs> rolled up and I had just cracked the back window to see uh, what was going on outside. And yeah, he said he just comes here to uh, get service. Right there where there's the view. <laughs> that is the only spot <clears throat> with reception around. And so, completely surprised me. Completely surprised him, he said too. But he said, hey, you know what? Just stay for the night. You know, it's already late, so that was very nice of him. Oh, that's great. Yeah, he said he didn't think any of those park workers would come or anything. Oh my god. Um, he's like, I won't snitch. <laughs> wow, so he's a really nice guy. You know, he said, uh, we're fine, basically. He said probably another policeman's gonna come, but he's higher rank, and he's gonna tell the other one oh. to be chill about it. And he said, if anybody comes, don't say he said it was okay. He's like, don't tell him. I know his name, you know? Yeah. He's like, don't say my name. Like, Just say what I told you, that You're looking for I worked service. online and I need to get some service here. Okay. <laughs> and he said, by the way, he wasn't able to get service here. So. <laughs> <laughs> but look at this amazing meal. Yeah, I'm so glad that we're allowed to eat here. <laughs> yeah. I'm so hungry. Good morning guys! Alright, well it's time to get out of this campsite. Alright, we're almost there, we're almost we there. It. You got it? Alright, yeah. go forward and I'll jump in. Bye campsite! Well, really just a spot like <laughs> that we weren't really allowed to be at. <laughs> but we found a place to spend the night. That was kind of rough yesterday. Yeah, that was pretty rough. Raining but... so bad and everybody saying like, no room at the inn. So we came back to where we tried to spend the night last night, the free campground, which he told me it is open from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. for visitors. Unfortunately, Emily's ankle is not feeling super great. But they said here, there's a little trail, very short to a waterfall, so before we head over to check out the lake, uh, might as well see what's up with this area. Well, I'd say it's worth a short, short walk to come over and check this out. Another reason is that you can't swim in the lake, so if you want to swim, this is your best bet, and especially since it's free. Well, this is the trail that goes down to swim.
Sube. Waterfall. Pretty good. Yeah. You want to go check out the lake now? Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> Good thing we've got a break in the rain so we can go down to the lake real quick. But we're wearing a wet rain jacket just in case. So this lake was free to enter. We just had to write down our names, where we're from, and our passport numbers. The guard was super nice, but we're not allowed to camp here during COVID. So it is a little bit hard for van lifers. Still a really nice stop on the way to Santa Fe and checking out cool things in Panama to do. Well, we came from the other fork of this road, but we're gonna go try out this road to Chitra that everybody says is really beautiful on iOverlander. Well, we definitely found something out here. Look at this river crossing. Oh my God. Oh, I wonder if they're gonna go for that. That don't look like a good idea. But there's a little pedestrian bridge here. Oh, what? Those dudes are crazy! Oh, wow. Okay, I guess it's our turn. All right, babe, I think we got this river. No! <laughs> yeah, I saw the guy. I see the technique and everything. This is just like a little trick to it. No. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you guys next time down a dead end road.